the power of the potato to tell time. Huh. Rex, how are we doing? It's half past his eyeball. Impressive. This is ridiculous. What's going on, fellas? Buzz, Buzz? we're just making a potato clock. Ah, yes. The vegetable acts as electrochemical battery, converting chemical energy into electricity by spontaneous electron transfer. Yeah, you could do it that way. I'm out of here. Have you no love of science? Buzz, how do you know so much about electrochemistry? Well, I saw hundreds of experiments while I was aboard the International Space Station. Oh, wow. Yeah, let me show you. Buzz Lightyear Mission Log, Episode 3, The Science of Adventure. Ooh, cool. Mmm, look at that. What are they doing, Buzz? Scientific experimentation. A noble pursuit, indeed. Amazing. Wow. What other kind of experiments do they do? Well, they also test new technologies. Grow plants in space. Experiment with bacteria and plasma. They even do research about the impact of microgravity on humans. Mm. Human experimentation? Ha, it's not like that. On the ISS, everyone participates in a series of experiments studying how humans respond to life in space and how we can help them stay healthy now and on future space expeditions. Wow, that's a lot of experiments. But why do we have to do them up there? Well, by doing experiments on the ISS, you change one very important variable, gravity. Ooh. That variable can mean big changes to scientific outcomes. Hey, what you doing there? Earth science. Right now, we're tracking the polar icebergs that broke away from Antarctica. Antarctica? Wow, that's a nice view from up there. <laughs> it's a great view. You can see everything from orbit 220 miles above the Earth. That's pretty high up. How fast did you say you were going? Oh, just 17,500 miles per hour. Wow! That's super fast! How did you ever get down from there? Very carefully. You can take either the Russian Soyuz capsule to Kazakhstan or the American space shuttle to Cape Canaveral. I took the shuttle. The descent process is pure physics. When the shuttle detaches, it's still orbiting the Earth at 17,500 miles per hour, just like the ISS. In order to get out of orbit, the shuttle has to slow down a lot. Oh, you really got to slam on those brakes, eh? Uh, brakes don't work in space, Ham. Uh, I knew that. Those clever NASA scientists, physicists, and engineers designed a way for the space shuttle to slow down using a combination of friction and reverse power. Discovery, you are go for the deorbit burn. Can we copy this go for the deorbit, Brian? Oh. What the? What was that? Well, when the shuttle cuts through the atmosphere, it's still going faster than the speed of sound, so it creates... A sonic boom. Uh, I read about that on the NASA website. Runway inside, Houston. Discovery, we copy. When we touch down, we're still going over 200 miles an hour. Luckily, there's a parachute to slow us down. Yay, Buzz! You're home! Welcome home, Discovery. Congratulations on an extremely successful mission, stepping up science to a new level on the International Space Station. Mission accomplished! Oh, our mission didn't end there, Ham. Soon, I was called away to test the atmosphere in a strange and magnificent land inhabited by giant mice. They called it Disney World. What the? Cool. Experiments of microgravity, Earth science from a spaceship, the physics of a shuttle descent, and giant mice? What a trip. It's like a dream. It's no dream, Rex. It takes all kinds of scientists, physicists, astronauts, giant mice, and many others to make these dreams a reality. <laughs> You guys were right about this science thing. I've got my own experiment. Great. What is it? How to make a big fly. Hey, what, what's going on? Hey, what are you doing? Oh. Tell us what the weather's like. Hmm. For more science, visit this NASA website. Oh, look at me. I'm an astrophysicist.